But now we're outside the uh, connected aircraft we have here at Honeywell in uh, Sky Harbor, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, behind me up on top of the fuselage, you can actually see the, the radome that, that houses the antenna that we have for the jet wave system. That, you know, that connects us to satellites around the world. So that's how we're getting that internet connection to the airplane. When we're traveling, no matter where we are in the world, that antenna is getting its data to and from a satellite overhead. There's numerous satellites that are, that are up there we're connecting to. Hi again, we're here now in the center of the airplane. This is really where all the magic happens. Around you, you can see uh, the, all the computer displays that uh, right now they're showing test engine data. The engine's just sitting there, it's not even running, but uh, this is a sampling of, of what these screens can do. Everything here is modular in that we can outfit and configure this area to support whatever kind of test we're doing. Again, we're, we're set up for a test engine, an engine test, uh, one of our latest uh, designs, and uh, that's what the screens are all configured for. Where I'm sitting right now normally would be our flight test engineer, and is also the test director. So he would ride along in this seat. He actually starts and runs and operates the test engine, but also directs the test. We've uh, figured out ahead of time what we're going to go do, of course, and brief that, and then he'll be the uh, maestro, if you will, to make sure that the profile and the plan that we came up with and, and discussed is exactly what we're going to do. We can also handle real-time situations. If something didn't work quite right, we're going to take along the people that can make the decisions to make those changes right away. I get, you know, Honeywell is all about safety and all the innovations that we've got out there for software and hardware to make flying safer and just better and for everybody. And that's what this airplane is doing in so many ways is, is developing that stuff and bringing that technology right here from your own backyard in Phoenix to uh, airplanes all over the world and to the flying public. So you can see our cockpit here. It's, um, the, the plane was built in 1982 and uh, primarily it still looks like that vintage on the surface. Uh, what you don't see is all of the technology that's behind the scenes in the uh, avionics bay below us here, in the equipment as well as software that runs some of this same old equipment. We've got our latest weather radar, airborne weather radar, uh, which is a, a wonderful system. The uh, enhanced ground proximity warning system and our smart landing, smart runway systems. All of these devices and systems are really based around safety and have, have and for instance, with the uh, enhanced ground proximity warning system, we've virtually eliminated controlled flight into terrain or CFIT accidents. So a lot of safety, a lot of uh, technology here that we have on our airplane that is also in most airplanes around the world. And again, it's behind the scenes and uh, we've been able to even update here our 1982 airplane to have that latest and greatest software. Some of the modifications that we have made are these gray panels that you can see where we do have an intercom system to talk to the uh, the seats in the back that we saw when we were sitting in the back of the airplane. Uh, we're on a hot mic and we could talk to that flight test engineer and anybody in the back. Also the gray panel that, that down there that controls that weather radar that I pointed out. Uh, otherwise it, it is pretty much just like a, a 757 would be or looks like that uh, with all the uh, state-of-the-art technology behind the scenes. So have a look around and we'll, uh, we'll go out and take a look at that uh, test engine next. Thanks. Now we're inside the uh, work platform that uh, we affectionately call the doghouse here that's typically pushed up to our connected aircraft here at Sky Harbor in Phoenix, Arizona. You can see we have a, an engine that we're installing. We're in the middle of inst installing this engine as a test engine. We're going to take this uh, airborne just in a day or two, uh, fly about five flights with it before we uh, take it off and put another one on. Uh, you can see all the instrumentation, the the odd uh, bits around it that are feeding the data systems inside that we, we saw. And uh, with this engine, we're also, when we're out flying, because of the connectivity, we'll be able to transmit the data from this engine down to the ground. So in real time, uh, somebody in Brazil or uh, Europe, anywhere in the world could, if they were, whoever would be interested, could be monitoring uh, the data that we're collecting real time. So they can see how for instance, an airframer would be interested to see how the engine performance is, is going and maybe tracking our progress. But because of the connectivity we have, we can 
we can do that. Looking around inside the building here, you can see some of the other parts of the cells that we have that will attach when we're complete. You can see there's cranes that help us uh, maneuver things around inside here, and of course all the tools to support uh, getting the engine installed and, and ready for all the testing that we're gonna do. Thanks a lot, we'll see you later. Follow us on uh, hashtag Wi-Fi that flies and all the social media channels. And uh, we're signing off from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for joining us.